Today we'll be talking about snap-ins. Basically, these are the, it's a little box here that you can click to speak to an agent. Snap-ins allow us to connect customers to agents in a Salesforce community or a landing page. And the best thing about it is that why it's convenient to offer it in a little box here is that it doesn't interrupt the customer's browsing experience. They can be look at, looking at your recent deals, recent products, and if they have a question on a certain item or a certain discount, certain price, they can talk to an agent directly and be at the same time looking at the product. Isn't that great? It sounds very simple, but few companies do it. So the snap is sitting unobtrusively while the customer is doing his thing on your website. And usually if you click on it, you speak directly right away to an agent, but you can also set up a pre-chat form, which helps the agent gather basic information like name, contact information, or kind of topic that the customer is interested in. If we know the topic of the customer's question, for example, refund policy, then we can direct the, the customer to the agent with that skill. So here we have skill-based routing all right so so here we see a basic community with a snap-in let's look at how we how to set one up so we have, here we go to the in the lightning experience we click on snap-ins note that if you're in classic you do not see the snap-in option and i'll show you so here we are in classic then we go to setup if I put a snap in here, it's not there. All right, so that's why we have to be in Lightning. All right, let's create and make a new deployment. We'll co create it. We'll call it. And we'll call what's the date today? May twenty seven. May twenty seven. Demo. And then here, the endpoint is basically the community we would like to deploy the snap in. So I've created a community called demo and we'll, we'll deploy it there we'll come to this page where we have to set up the live agent if we want we can also set up the branding and then we even get a snap and code snippet the code for it right, let's, so the live agent deployment we're using is called a bot the live agent button is called a bot and we would like to see the queue position so if someone is second or third in line, they can see how close they are to getting served. And I think that's a very nice feature that uh, our customers would appreciate. So let's click save. So just to remind you, we deployed we deployed the bot. Uh, we, deployed, we deployed the snap in called May twenty seven. to a community called demo. So let's go to the community. So we'll go to the community called demo. Alright, so it's a snap in is a component, so great snap in. Snap in chat. We just drop it somewhere. We can drop it anywhere on the page, and but it will always show up here. All right, so we killed. So let's publish now. Okay. Okay. So we 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 saved our changes. Let's go to the community in production. So here's the chat. If I open it, it's asking me, here's the pre-chat form. What's my name, email. Let's kind of start chatting. It's saying, okay, let's check what the issue is. I think the issue is that no one 
is in the community. Let's open the service console. <clears throat> The only channel let's make it online. All right, let's start a new chat. There's a connection issue. Okay, let's check. So the boop, boop. all right. So 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 let's check. I think. The issue could be that let's check the live agent button. Here's a chat button. Rotations scope. Let's see what the snapping used. What button did the snapping use? So this is, this is also useful video material here because we can see we're trying to debug it here. Yeah? So so here we, in the live chat, live agent settings we see that the pre chat form is active, offline support is inactive issue. Live agent deployment bot, live agent button is called bot. So let's check the live agent deployment using this button called bot. The queue is okay. I see there is a there is a, a bot was configured. So let's remove that bot. All right. So as you could see that if there is a bot here in the Einstein, under Einstein bot settings of the chat button, then the first the bot has to serve. But if the bot is not working, the snap-in button would not be working as well. So let's go back to our snap-in. Let's open the community. Okay, here we are, number one. Here we go. Here we're picking up the, the chat and in this community. I'm interested new refund policy with a new sneaker. I see. Now it's every time I type it's coming out twice because I think I put in two snap ins, yeah? So let's remove one of them. Okay, you see. Hi, hi. Alright, let's Let's go fix that quickly. So we'll click Community Builder. Here's the snap in chat. Let's remove that. Okay, now we don't have any snap ins. I don't see snap anywhere else. Alright, so let's. Build the snapping again. Okay, the snapping name we're using is called May 27 demo. Chat with support. This is the label that the customer will see. Alright, so we'll save the changes. You, you saw the name change, right? Chat with support. All right. So let's go to the community. Chat with support. Put in information. So 
So as you can see, given that I put in my name, it pulled up my contact details. You can see and it pulled up my contact details and okay. That's just basically live agent, right? You can see. So let's say I answer the question. Please see this link. All right, answer the question and the chat. If you go to this, the contact details of mine, we can see this live chat transcript that I just had. Oh, this is the older one. I need to refresh it. Now we have two. So here's the earlier one. You can see it by the number, yeah, the early one, the follow-up one. All right, so this was my presentation about the snap-in. Um, I really briefly touched on it about the prerequisites for a snap-in, but I would like to cover it in more detail right now to make sure that you get it all correct for your snap to work so uh, first is lightning experience you have to have you have to be lightning second is you need to have a service cloud license Then you need the live agent license. You saw why, right? Because we just use a live agent deployment. And then live agent must be enabled. Of course, if it's not enabled, how else would you receive the chat, right? If you're using community to receive the chat, then community must be set up. Okay, all of these might be pretty pretty obvious but it's worth putting it all together okay, so that if you're planning to set up a snap-in you know that you know it all right now I'd like to talk to you briefly about some of the limitations of snap-in there are not that many but it's worth knowing them okay the first one is Uh, the setup is only only available in Lightning. We saw right in classic. There is no snap-in. Second is uh, snap-in can not be on the same page as a live agent chat button okay there'll be duplication and there's also some code uh, match mismatch that happens so either have live agent chat button or a snap in third is can't embed snap ins into lightning components So these are the key three limitations and if you know them they're not really limitations you can just walk work around it 
I'd like to share with you three important links in relation to SnapPens that Salesforce has produced. The first one is a YouTube video titled Embed Customer Support into Your Apps with SnapPens. Yeah, this is a 47 minute video by the product manager of SnapPens as she talks through how to set up SnapPen in your in your app. Yeah. All right. The next one is a very simple document called Snappens Chat. It goes much in in a lot of detail about how to set up Snappen. It's a very nice document for beginners. And on the basics of Snappen. And the next this this one is is much more code based and it talks about how to set up Snappen for different websites. I believe these three documents, this YouTube video, the Snappen Snappen's chat document and Snappen's for develop, web developer guide are essential for anyone um, working with Snappen's. All right, good luck. If you like this video, please leave leave a make like it. If you have questions, please leave a comment. I'll get back to you as soon as possible.